Is it really that time again? It feels like only yesterday I was flooding YouTube with daily Z690 motherboard overviews. And now look at us. We're on Z790 already. And what better place to start the Z790 journey with than with the Gigabyte Z790 Aurus Elite. It is currently one of the more budget Z790 boards you can buy. And as you can imagine, it comes with a lot of features with it being a Gigabyte Aurus board. And starting off with CPU power, here things are looking pretty standard. With a 16 plus 1 plus 2 power phase arrangement rated at a maximum of 70 amps. Combine that with the two full 8 pins and your CPU is going to be getting more than enough power even if you're going for something more expensive like a 3900K. Though honestly if you can afford a 3900K you can probably also afford a more expensive motherboard. So that's a pretty standard stuff and let's be honest it's pretty boring. You don't care about it, I don't care about it, no one cares about it because it really doesn't make a difference. Let's talk about something more exciting. Or at least as exciting as PC expansion can get which for us tech nerds is very exciting. Here things are pretty standard with a single PC Gen 5 16x slot and two additional physical 16x slots. Yes, sadly, once again, Aorus haven't given up the hatred of the 1x slot, which I have no idea what's about, really. I have no idea why they stopped putting 1x slots everywhere, but it's painful to watch at this point, you know? We all can agree that we don't want to be the monster that puts a 1x card in a 16x slot, yet Gigabyte are not giving us the option here. <sighs> Whatever, life is life, I guess, and at least you also get four M.2 slots. But now finally onto the good stuff, the rear I.O. Something that Gigabyte have always done much better than anyone else. Mostly. Now we all know that Gigabyte love the USB Type A, and this motherboard has a whopping nine of them. That's actually on par with the last gen Z690 Aorus Elite, but it still pales in comparison to its AMD cousin, the X670 Aorus Elite, which has 12. In fact, even the current gen budget AMD motherboard, the B650 Aorus Elite, has more USB Type A than this. And even though it's been a while since I passed my GCSE in maths and I can barely remember anything from it, I can still tell you that 9 is less than 12. But hey, at least you still have a lightning fast 20 gig USB Type C, 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi Fi 6E, both HDMI and DisplayPort for onboard graphics, which is very, very important because. Again, Gigabyte are for some reason very, very picky on which motherboards they do put integrated DisplayPort and which they don't. And also we have another Gigabyte staple and that is underwhelming audio options. Which is a mic in, line out and ooh, optical spit if that's nice at least. Someone needs to tell Gigabyte engineers that removing audio jacks compared to where you were say five years ago is not an upgrade, that's a downgrade. You know, at this point, I have no idea what's going through the heads of the Gigabyte engineers. I know it's a stressful time, maybe they're overdoing it with the alcohol and office parties a bit or something, but it's really showing in their products because the insane decisions that they've been doing is just, well, insane and unexplainable, to be fair. And you know me, I wanted to wholeheartedly recommend this motherboard. Though seeing how cheaply you can get a Z690 Aorus Elite for nowadays, I just cannot find too many reasons why anyone would want to go for this motherboard instead, unless you just really dig the upgraded looks of this motherboard compared to its Z690 predecessor. And more than anything, it's just been painful to watch, because Gigabyte have been one of the better motherboard manufacturers of the past several years, but over the past few generations, just seeing all these bad mistakes just stack one on top of the other has been making it much more difficult to recommend their products. So it looks like I may have to give up my title of an Aorus shill. But not before I remind you to buy this motherboard using the Amazon links down in the video description below. And while you're still here, why don't you check out our Patreon, which is also going to be down in the video description below. Because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bardish Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much for what truly goes a long way. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's it. It's I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.